Grapevine, I heard about this Facebook group that you got going on. Would you mind telling us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah. So my daughter and I decided we would do phys ed class online on Facebook. Uh, it was just sort of a spur of the moment thing. Just another way, like I said, to reach out uh, to students. I started doing it on my own Facebook account and I was like, wait a minute, I got people that I don't know from all over the place. <laughs> So I was like, let's do a different. So I started, I just called it, it was lame at, at best. I just called it P with Gemberling. Um, so I, I, my creativity was not flowing that day. So, you know, we just get on there. It was, we were trying to do it every day, but you know, my responsibilities got a little bit more with work. Um, my daughter's schoolwork got a little bit more intense. My wife is a third grade teacher. Her workload got, so it got to be a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. So now we just, we rock out every Tuesday and Thursday that I can be there in the morning, 10 a.m. Eastern time. I get on, I act like a goofball like I am. We do different <laughs> workouts. Um, I just started today trying to, you know, child, child kids and their parents, you know, field day is one of those great, great things that a lot of kids, especially at the elementary level, love to do. Um, and my high school kids usually volunteer to help, which, so they're kind of missing that opportunity this year. So mm -hmm. I was, I've just given suggestions. I'm going to do two or three a day on at home field day activities you could try. Um, today it was, uh, the, the circle house run will just run around your house 10 times, have your parents time you uh, just to be just something different, you know, give them a little distance run. So it's just trying to, to reach people in different ways and get them active. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Um, and for those out there watching, Jason's going to be joining Dr. Bob in this week's ep episode of the PE huddle. Jason, can you kind of give us a brief rundown of what you and Dr. Bob are going to be talking about? Um, it's going to be, it's still be similar to what he's been talking with, with all the other guests that he's had on, um, just sort of how I'm handling things uh, here in Pennsylvania, what our, what our schools have been doing, things like that, ideas, suggestions, maybe hopes and dreams on where we could go and here, here soon. Yeah. Um, just to also thinking about, you know, what we can do as phys ed teachers, you know, like you guys are doing this, which is usually at the trade shows, at the conferences that we aren't going to get this year, you know, you know, shapes canceled. A lot of the summer stuff has been canceled, falls up in the air. You know, um, I usually do the, the a phys ed summit in PA and Adam is coming in and I, it's just probably not going to happen. I just yeah. don't know how we're going to make it work. Yeah. So, you know, just trying to figure out ways and talk through ways of, of people being able to find new resources and um, being creative. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And, and how about your, have you worked with Dr. Bob in the past? What's your relationship been like with him? Uh, I, I met Dr. Bob through, you know, go for pep summits after we won our pep summit, um, well, back in 2010, uh, go for did some awesome summits. I met him there, talked to him with all of those. Um, he's actually been to Pennsylvania a couple times. He like you loves our, our, uh, outdoor areas, you know, our recreational opportunities as far as outdoors. So I've talked to him many times. I've, you know, emailed him and, and sent him messages, asking him questions and input. So it's, it's not like, um, you know, we're besties, you know, I don't, yeah. you know, rock out parties at his house, but <laughs> you know, he's always really open to anybody. If they have questions, you know, to help out in any way you can, he's really great about that. And you guys share the same barber too. So yes, right, we right, do. Right. You, know? <laughs> you know, I know you guys are jealous. I know you guys are jealous. We're getting yeah. there too. Just, You're going to someday yeah. be just like us. So, <laughs> you know, if you need any up. tips, you can let us know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I guess awesome. you have anything for no, Jason? No, just as good seeing you as always, Jason, hopefully you and the family are doing well, man. And uh, look forward to seeing you again in the future here. Yeah, uh, same to you guys. I hope everybody stays well. And uh, I, again, I hope we can get together soon too. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Well, thanks again for joining good us, Jason. Good luck on Thursday. Yeah, take care. Hey, thanks, guys. Take care. Stay well. Yeah, have a good day. Awesome stuff. Thanks. Awesome stuff. Yeah, so that's cool. That's great. Jason is such a great guy. Um, you know, he's, he's, he, he has so much knowledge about um, physical education and, and uh I'm excited to see what him and Dr. Pangrazy talk about. Absolutely, they're, they're yeah. Really, really good. So, so again, uh, PE Huddle with Jason Gimberling and Dr. Bob Pangrazy at 2 o'clock Central Time on Thursday afternoon. 2 o'clock, tune in. Yeah, cool. So I think now we're going to get on to the, the daily challenge. So uh, thanks again, Jason, for, for doing that. So now we're going to get into the, the daily challenge uh, posted every morning at 8 a.m. on social media. Um, and this week's is actually the 2020 elementary PE teacher of the year. And that's going to be Will Potter. Uh, he's got a fantastic one for Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> so we're going to cue that up here and then we're going to do the activity afterwards. Hi everyone. I'm William Potter from Serendipity School in Belmont, California. And I was recently named the Shape America 2020 
National Elementary Physical Education Teacher of the Year. And today I'm gonna to share with you the Taco Chef workout. Now the way the Taco Chef workout works is like this. You are gonna have your ingredients here. I have my ingredients right here. And the more ingredients you add, the harder the workout challenge becomes. Bonus points if you give yourself a loaded taco, but I'm gonna give you my taco version right now. So it's gonna start with a hard shell taco and that's 10 jumping jacks. I'm gonna add some steak to that taco shell for 10 squats. Next, I'm gonna add some diced tomato, which I have right here. From there, I'm gonna add some cheese. Now the cheese is gonna cost me a 30 second plank. Next up, I have some sour cream. Got it in there. All right, and last but not least, the guacamole. Now we all know guac is extra. So now that I got my taco belt, I'm ready to enjoy it. But before I can enjoy it, I have to do the workout. Can you do this workout? Take a video and share it online using the hashtag Active Home Challenge. Did you see how fast he did those yeah, push-ups? He's an and athlete. Like, Look at I that. Mean, that was amazing. Will Potter, you are an, you are an athlete. I mean, that was that wasn't high speed or fast forward or anything. That, That's yeah. He's really good. So again, that was the 2020 Elementary PE Teacher, uh, teacher of the Year, Will Potter. Uh, great guy. I've, I've uh, met him a number of times out at different conferences. So thank you for that awesome challenge. And we thought, well, why not have our own taco bar here? It's say it. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> That's really good. So we're gonna we're gonna actually have Carter and Kira are here again today. So we're actually gonna do our own. We're gonna make our own taco, um, and then we're gonna we're gonna see what we have. And we're not gonna eat the taco here on on camera, but we're gonna we're do not the actual. We can eat them after. Okay. All right. Okay. I didn't I eat mean, lunch. So three or four. Of them, I know. So. That's true. <laughs> so we're gonna make our tacos. We're gonna have actually video Joe come out, the guy that has been behind the scenes for all these these weeks and we're going to make a taco here and I have the actual stuff here so um, Carter you want to come up first and grab a hard shell or a top a, a soft shell so if you do a, a hard shell it's going to be uh, 10 jumping jacks or a soft shell is going to be um, I'm sorry a soft shell is 10 cross jacks and a hard shell is 10 jumping jacks so you want that okay and then pick your meat and we don't have steak and chicken all we have is beef so he's going to make his beef right here you're gonna put beef in there and then you can pick your toppings. So we got cheese right here. We got taco sauce. We have lettuce right here. And we have hot sauce and we have refried beans. <laughs> so you go ahead and, and make your, your um, salad. Actually, let's move this off to the side so Adam can make one too. I might as well jump in here. Talk. I'm oh, gonna do a hard right. shell. Video Joe, you wanna come out? Come on in Joe, say hi to everybody. There's video Joe. He's the one of the the magic behind the scenes yes. right there. Check out that beard. Don't get any so of the So make sure, so Carter, make sure you're adding here. So, so you got um, you're gonna have ten squats for the for the uh, beef, and you're gonna have um, you're gonna have thirty second plank for the cheese. Oh. Do you want any hot sauce or any taco sauce? Put a little taco sauce on there. Anyone want refried beans? So you gotta you gotta keep track kind of of what you're doing. So I got Just lettuce, process. cheese, hard shell, and Just a little bit, bud. Beef. All right. That's good, buddy. All right. I'm just gonna set this off. Go ahead, to the set side. it off to the side. I really should eat it and then work off my taco, but I'm gonna do it backwards. <laughs> and this was a fantastic idea by, by Will Potter. So I am going to do mine real quick here. I'm going to do a soft shell as well. Carter, go ahead and put it up on the, on the shelf here. So I'm going, to do, I'm going to do some beef right here. I got some uh, hot jalapeno and pepper jack cheese. I'm going to put on there. I'm going to do a little bit of Jumping lettuce. Jack squats. 
I'm gonna do a little Tiny. bit of lettuce here. I'm gonna put some mm. hot sauce on mine. I'm gonna go. get to a, a quick shout out here. We got uh, one shout out, Mary Sprague Cluley again. Hey Mary. Mary. Thanks hi. for joining us. She says, thank you, Video Joe. Video She's enjoyed these awesome. go for live sessions. So you wanna take this with take this over here and then we'll do our workouts, <clears throat> okay? So let's bring this over here. Andy and I are trying to get our beard as nice as Joe's, so we got a, about two more years left um, <laughs> to get there, but uh, we're trying. So, All right, so everyone know what their exercises yep. are? So I'm going to do oh, jumping jacks, so let's do our jumping jacks, Carter. Come on, Carter. We have, we have to burn off the, the, the calories beforehand. All right, so ready? Ten two. jumping jacks. Go. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven. seven. Eight, nine, ten. ten. And now we all have beef, so we're gonna do the squats. Okay. So ten squats. Ready? Go. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And ten. So what else was there? There was. I have cheese on mine. Cheese. That's thirty-second plank. Oh boy. Is that a plank? Yes. Yeah. Side plank. All right. Yep. We'll do some side planks. Anybody got a watch? No. 19, 20, <laughs> 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Nice. Um, what else we got on there, Joe? I didn't put any on mine. I don't have mine. Uh, hot sauce. I had some hot sauce. Hot sauce. Okay. High knees? High knees. Ten high knees. Ten high knees. You guys are doing with me? You guys I, I got hot sauce. All right, let's do it. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. All right. Now I won't feel, feel so bad eating that, that taco. <laughs> I think we're good. I, I didn't go, I didn't go Taco idea. Supreme for this one, so. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Carter. I'll call you back. Okay. <laughs> so let's put that out to the side. Thanks, Carter. Thanks, Joe, for joining us. Yes. Thank you, Joe. And then we're going to get to, uh, I think Andy's going to get to a question here. Oh, yeah. So if you guys, again, if you guys have any questions for us, um, put them in the comments section, put them in the chat box. Um, we'll try to get to as many as we possibly can today. Um, and just give us a shout out. Let us know where you're where you're coming from. Okay, so while you're looking at that, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the question, and then we're gonna get into another part of the show, and then I go ahead and put those into that chat box. So my question is, do you have any special plans for your students for the end of the year? So I know a lot of schools are, are coming to the end now. So do you have any special plans for your students before the year wraps up? Uh, Eric Meyer from New Jersey. Eric, again, yeah. Another, nice. uh, thank you. Yeah, he's tuning in quite quite often. So thank yeah. you, Eric and Mary, for tuning in once again. Um, yeah, that's we it. We didn't that's talk about we... the weather. So again, yeah. <laughs> here it's very sunny. Uh, it is, uh, I think it's like mid fifties. Yeah. Uh, but very nice. So again, if you're if you're logging in, uh, tell us where you're at, the temperature, and so on. And if you have any questions again. And if you have so. any questions, yeah. So cool. Okay, so um, I think we're going to go on to um, PE Home. So um, I think Joe's going to bring up the screen here. So again, this is the, the six-week subscription boxes that are mailed out uh, one pack per week. Uh, two weeks ago, we, had, we unveiled three packs, and I think today we're going to unveil three more packs, and we're going to do some activities with those. Yep. So again... The basic pack is $170, and that is for six weeks subscription, and then you get free shipping with that, and you get all that stuff in that pack right there. And then the, the deluxe pack is, again, the same thing, six weeks, um, free shipping. Uh, you get a, a, ba a box every week, and then you get actually more equipment with that stuff as well. So uh, the cool thing that Gopher just started is for every subscription ordered, you get to pick out where your kids go to school and then that your school gets an actual $10 gift card for making that subscription. So again, these are meant for parents to buy for their kids at, at home. And then when they get done ordering it on gopher.com, gophersport.com, 
and it'll, it'll say you can pick the school that your kid goes to, and then we'll tell you that at Gopher. And I think the promo goes till... Till Labor Day. Till Labor Day. Yeah, so, yeah, so you, so got, you got plenty of time uh, over summer. I know uh, here in Minnesota, I, uh, you know, they're going to make more decisions coming up here, but, it, you know, baseball, softball... You know, I don't know if that stuff's going to happen this summer or not. I know my kids are bummed out. They want to play baseball, softball, but I don't know if it's going to happen. So, again, looking for activities for the kids. You can share this with the parents. And, if, again, if they buy a subscription for at home, they can pick the school, and then the school gets a $10 a gift, gift card, card from Gopher. Yeah. So pretty cool stuff. Um, and we're going to actually go through, uh, through some of this stuff right here today. And like we did two weeks ago, we did kind of the unveiling of the boxes. Yep. And we're going to do that again here. So I did kind of a drum roll last week, and <laughs> we are going to be doing the jumping pack now. So included in the jumping pack, Andy, when you when I uh, pull them out, if you want to list them right, off Vanna, here. Show me what you got. So we got uh, a <laughs> beautiful seven-foot jump rope. Okay, we got some other <laughs> jump ropes here. Um, we already boxed these ones or unboxed these ones because we're going to be using them. Okay, we got a seven foot jump rope, an eight foot jump rope, and a nine foot jump rope. And these are the never wear segmented jump ropes. So you got the uh, vinyl piece on the bottom, so when it's constantly hitting the ground, it's not gonna wear away. Hence the, the clever name, never wear. Yeah, it's very clever. So you got the jump ropes here. We got, let's see, we got, got some spots. Two double dutch ropes, which we have out on, yep. the, on the driveway. We're gonna attempt um, doing double dutching. I we're going to try on. it. So we're going to try, try that, see how that works. It's been many years since <laughs> we were, we've been swinging the rope, so we're yep. going to try that as well. And then we got the, uh, the gopher tough spots here. So rainbow set of the tough spots. And then it comes with the Chinese jump rope right here. Very cool. And then we got our Resid oh. Whirlwind. Our Whirlwind. Two of the Whirlwinds. Two Whirlwinds. And this is, again, the deluxe pack. Okay, so you get two of the Whirlwind um, activities Fun here. Fun fact, back in 96, I actually made it to the Olympics on, on the Whirlwind. It, it, was, oh. it was a newer event back at that time. Well, then, I, I made it. I qualified. It was, it was pretty good. Then you can demonstrate yeah. when, when we get to these. <laughs> so pretty cool pack, and we're actually going to be doing some activities now, yeah. right? Yep. I got my wonderful kids here, Carter and Kerrigan. <clears> I don't know if we're going to need you right away. Um, but, but stay there and we're going to, here, you got a big smile on your face. You're excited <laughs> She's to come excited. Get, aren't you? <laughs> She's excited. So, um, so the first is going to be some individual activities. So Andy, if you want to come out and join me. So no laughing at us because, <laughs> uh, we tried doing some of this and we weren't the greatest at it. So I'm going to use the nine foot jump rope. Gonna, Andy's going to use the eight foot. All right. We're going to go out here. Right, you got your. In Andy's driveway. Yep. yep. So the first activity we're going to do is just, uh, again, these are all individual activities. First one we're going to do is just the rocker jump, okay? So let's see how, how skilled we are with our rocker jump. Oh, so you got to just kind of rock back and forth, back and forth. Switch it up, Andy. Oh, boy. Look at that. All right. So that was the rocker jump, okay? Now another easy activity to do um, wherever you guys are is a side to side jump. So if you have a, a line in the concrete or if you want to write a line um, with chalk or something. So Andy's here, I'll just go here. We're just going to jump side to side. Side to side. <laughs> Don't want to get too close to your partner. Yeah. But, um, so that's the side to side. And then the last one. Um, we're just going to use the gopher whirlwinds, and since Andy's so good with the whirlwind. Yeah. I mean, it's been many years since I competed in the Olympics, but I, I, I mean, I could probably still do all right with it. Let's see here. Can you do that? Oops. All right, you come on <laughs> here. Andy lost some of his... Uh, here. It's getting caught on my pants. Carter, you want to try with this one? Okay, try it. There we go. There you go. There you go, Carter. If you had a shoe on it, it'd probably be easier. So again, with these. So my skills have diminished a little bit. With these, make it competitive for your kids, for your family, okay? okay that's right. See how many in a row you can do. Okay, see how many you can do. 
She needs shoes on. Yeah. Yep. So See again, how many you can do in a minute. Yeah. Okay, make it challenging. So these again, these are all parts of the of the jump rope pack, and those were uh, individual activities. So again, there's individual, there's partner, and there is family activities. Yep. So now we're going to get to the, oh, we, yeah, the partner gonna, activities. We could have just stayed, stayed out outside. There. Sorry, Joe. Video Joe, we're <laughs> moving back and forth. Putting them to work. All right. So on this one, I'm going to jump inside the rope, and I'm going to hold one of the handles. Andy's going to be on the outside, and he's going to twirl the other one around. OK, ready? I have no idea what we're doing. So you're just swinging it when okay. I swing. Oh, got okay, it. Ready? Got it, yeah. Oh, yeah. But hang on to it. All right, one more time. One more time. Then we can switch it up. Oh. All right, I got to be two. <laughs> um, Get in there. I got no. I got. I got to have right-handed. There we go. I feel better about this. All right. Ready? ready? Oh, he likes to go faster. Look at that. Oh, he got there you me. Go. All right. So that was one of the partner activities, um, and then so this this. Next partner activity we're going to be on the inside, both of us. Is the sun shining off my forehead in your eyes? No, you're oh, fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for, we're, we're both in oh, here. We're both in here. Okay. All right, ready? And we're going to both jump here. We're going to both jump. All right, ready? ready? Go. go. Oh. oh. We got to try, we got, we got completed. <laughs> Two wide body, older, older men isn't as easy. All right, ready? Yeah, yep. Go. Oh. Well, we got we got two, <laughs> one and a half. Good effort. Good yeah. effort. Okay, so that was that. Um, now for the family activities or the group activities, um, right, we're gonna do some double dutch. Okay, do you guys know how to double dutch? No. Oh, oh, this is the one. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, so Carter, you're gonna jump when you're gonna try to time it out, and you're gonna try to jump in when we're turning. Okay. Um, Carter, why don't you go put on some shoes? I don't want you to get hurt with those sandals. And Kira, you can jump in with, with, no, so with no shoes on. Okay. Okay. So Ready? How do we do this again? So you got to try to time it out and try jump it. in. You can, yeah, however you want to get in there. <laughs> when it's at the top, go in there and jump. One, two, three, go. Go, go Deeds. You gotta time it. Ready? Go. Go. It's not gonna hurt if you if you go it's in. It's not gonna hurt, honey. One. Go. Two. Jump. Oh! <laughs> I tried to adapt it. Sorry. We don't do a whole lot of double dutch in here in Minnesota, <laughs> so we apologize for this. <laughs> but you guys get the you guys idea. Get the idea. So all that Good stuff try, comes Good with try. the jump rope pack. Yeah. So again, you get two. I mean, these are the 16 footers, right? So two 16 footers. Yep. Seven, eight, nine foot, and so on. So sorry, that was that was that is kind of hard. We'll we'll have you come back out again, honey. Okay. We uh yeah we didn't practice this one um, before we started. So um, so that was the one of the family activities. Again, with these packs, you get 25 plus activities for each level: individual, partner, and family activities. So um, again, all that stuff is included with the subscriptions. Okay. So um, we'll get to uh, hopefully answer some questions and get to some of your answers to our questions here before we move on to the first or the next pack. Yeah, again, so that's the jumping pack and uh, we're gonna get on to, uh, I got another question for you. So uh, Adam's gonna look to see if we have any shout outs again. Tell us where you're calling from or where you're, you're logging in from, what the weather is, if you have any questions for us, um, how you're liking the program, how do you like Adam's hair today, Wh whatever you wanna, yeah. you wanna comment on. So. <laughs> Um, any answers to our first question? Um, all right, let's see here. What was that question? I forgot already. <laughs> the first question was, do you have any special plans for your students for the end of the school year? All right. Uh, nobody has answered that question. Okay, so it was a bad question on my part. <laughs> I apologize. We have some more shout outs and more people commenting though. Okay. Um, Caroline Elizabeth from North Carolina. Hey Caroline. Um, she said her dad is deployed to Minneapolis right now with FEMA. Oh, okay. So, huh. very thank cool. Thank you for your dad. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for what he's doing. 
Um, Eric Myers said the seg segmented jump ropes are great. We agree. Yeah. Um, Marsha, hi from Michigan, 55 and sunny. The thanks, mitten. The mitten. the mitten. Thanks for joining us yeah. again, Marsha. Uh, Mary, Mary said, y'all are so real life. Well, we don't <laughs> edit these. these. This is live. This is go for live. Yeah. And then Tanya Robinson Freeman said she's impressed with you with our ability to turn double dutch so well. Thank you. Thank you. That was another skill that I just missed the Olympics on <laughs> years ago. And Dale Lopic, thanks for tuning in, Dale. Dale. Great, great work. You guys seem very athletic. <laughs> we get it from you, Dale. Yeah, we get we it do. from you. We do. So uh, before I get on to my next question, again, I wanna I wanna mention. So again, each of these packs come with um, these instructions. So again very well detailed so when the pack gets out to the actual parents it gives them all these actual activities so again uh, here's what comes in the pack um, how you begin um, jump rope challenge tips we should have probably read that before we did try right. doing the double dutch yeah. thing um, and then there's 33 individual challenges and then there are with this one there's the whirlwind challenge challenges there's two player five um, two-player partner challenges, and there are five family and group challenges. So again, very well written, lots of great activities in these. And again, we have those for everyone. So here's the jumping and skipping. Here's the sport ball pack, which I'll get into next. Yep. And then we have the scooter pack, which will be a lot of fun as well. And so. Tanya, Tanya did mention most kids are afraid of the double dutch, so. Yeah. Kira yeah. doesn't have to feel so bad. Yeah, um, you did good, honey. <laughs> and then she she recommends starting with one and then adding the second one in there. Yeah, awesome. I'm guessing while, because I'm sure the, the thing that they're most afraid of is actually getting in. Getting in there, which, which she was. She right. wasn't. So thank you, Tanya, for, for the advice. So, yes, thank you, Tanya. Now I'll get on to the set, my <clears throat> second question. Uh, I apologize for the first one maybe not being so good, so uh, I'll do another one here. So. What social distancing activities do you have planned uh, for you and your family this summer? So uh, we know school year is kind of winding down across most states. I know I talked to Colorado last week. I think they're like in their last week or two. Mm -hmm. I know my kids are winding down as well. So uh, what activities, what social distancing activities do you have planned for you and your family this summer? So um, we'd love to hear from you on that. And then we're gonna get into the sports ball pack. Carter and Kira, I need your, I need your help. Sorry, um, we are going to. I'll just you go ahead, Van. Okay. You go ahead, show it off, and then I'll be I'll be right with you guys. So, so the first thing we have in the pack is the Instructs rubber basketball. Okay. So let me get that. So again, this one is we just opened this one up, so it's just an Instructs basketball. Okay, you got your hand placements right on there. This one's tough to see, but we do have one. Um, blown up already so for both right-handed and left-handed shooters okay you can see the handprints on there where they should be putting their hands okay to to perfect their jump shots yeah, and i'll have i'll have carter and kira come out here with the football and the basketball we'll show them as well the next thing is uh the former rubber soccer ball so you got a rubber soccer ball size five um, nice. for this one and then the instructs rubber football so again same thing they got the hand placements on there to teach you um, the proper form and how to throw a football. And then we have the Dura ball, so a playground ball. Uh, we have that one blown up right here. So you got the Dura ball. These things you can boot. Yes. Playing kickball, <laughs> these, things, yep. these things really, really fly, kind of fun. Uh, the next one is the Cowabunga beach ball. Okay, we got the Cowabunga beach ball right here. Very, very durable Very beach balls. heavy duty. It's yep. not your the, not the uh, one you, you, know, you get from the dollar store that, yeah. that'll pop after a few hits. These are very, very durable. We use them with uh, one of our action team games called Sturty. Yep. And you're basically throwing foam balls at these at these bigger size um, Kalbunga balls. So they're very, very well built. And then lastly, there's an itty bitty coated foam balls in that pack as so well. It comes so with one of those. Yeah. So we get that. So we're going to actually do some activities again with this pack. Um, we're going to do three individual, two partner, and a family one. And the first one we're going to do is, I'm just going to show you the instruct patterns on the actual ball. So Carter and Kier, if you guys want to come out here. So like Adam said, there are different patterns on here. So Carter, you're right-handed. So if you want to grab the football and put your, your right hand 
Uh, right here it says right hand. So go ahead, put your right hand and cover on up green. on the green. Yep. So that's, and you're going to want your fingers touching the actual laces. And then that's how you would throw a football, right? And I think my, Kira, my daughter Kira might have went inside. So again, the basketball would be if I'm right-handed, I'd place my, my uh, left hand right here. There you are, honey. So here's the basketball. So put your left hand right here, and then put your right hand on the other green. So that's how you would actually shoot a basketball. That's proper form. And then when you shoot, you want to make sure that you're, you're kind of snapping your wrist. So you can come out, come out here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we didn't move the truck. So again, you just go ahead, do the proper form and shoot and snap your wrist. You want to kind of snap your wrist like this, honey. And Carter, you can throw that to Adam. Yep. Good throw. Just like that. So these are meant to be very easy. If you're left-handed, uh, it shows you how to do left-handed as well. So, well, this is just showing you how oh. to shoot, honey. So right-handed. So those are the instruct ba uh, basketball and football that we have in the pack. Um, what so else the next need? thing we're going to do is we are going to do the flip-flop. So I will show what the flip-flop is, and then we'll see if Carter and Kier can do the flip-flop. So basically what you're doing is you're going to try switching your hand. Carter, you want to? <laughs> so, so they can see what it is, buddy. Get out of the way, Carter. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. So you're gonna you're gonna be going like this. Now, if it's if you if you're younger, you can do the bounce. Like this. Yep. Now you try it. Carter, you can use this basketball here. Yep. <clears throat> so Joe can Get see you. Get out there and. Drop it now. Just try now to switch your hands. Now you gotta move your other hand. Now switch your hands. There, there you go. go. Yep. yep. Yeah, good job, good. buddy. So how do you do a Here, I'll show you. It's easier if you just do the bounce. Start out with the bounce like this. I didn't have it bounce. You didn't let it bounce, yep. That's called the flip flop. <laughs> hey, nice work. There you go. It's challenging. You got to challenge yourself. Good job. So that's called <laughs> the flip flop. The next one we're going to do is we're going to have, um, we're going to do another activity. So Carter and Kira, you want to come up here? Here you go, Kira. Um, you guys, actually, you guys keep, keep oh. the balls. Keep the ball over here. Get, um, Adam, you want to grab a ball? Sure. And, and we're going to do a little activity. I'll just grab the soccer ball. So we're going we're gonna to line up over here. Hold the ball. And we're going we're gonna to put the balls between our legs. And we're going to hop down to the grass and hop back. Without, yes, without dropping the ball. You got it, you got to come back. Ready? Set, go. Oh boy. Back, back, back. Oh, oh good job. Good job, buddy. Good job, Carter. Good job. You got the biggest good ball job. here, Carter. So yeah, that was, was hard. That was, that was bigger. So again, different activities that are all part of this pack as well. Um, we're gonna do now, we're gonna do a partner activity. Hold the ball, please. We're gonna do step back. So Carter and Kira will use the basketball, and I, Kira and I will use the football. Okay. Oh, Carter and I, put that down, buddy. So we're gonna be, come up, about like this far, so across the line from Adam. So um, you are right here, Carter, and face Adam, and come up, come up closer. And you're gonna do this with me, and we're gonna do chest passes. And we're just gonna do a normal once pass. Once you complete a pass to me, we both take a step back. Okay. And so you guys are gonna do the football pass. If you catch the ball, take a step back. And you will and step throw back, back to me. Okay. Ready? And we'll do chest pass. Step back. Step back. This is called step back. Oh, look. Go we'll ahead and start, start again, buddy. We'll start over. Whoa. Spread out all your fingers on the ball. There you go. Step back into the there truck. Go. There you go. Get in here. Get in here. Chest pass. Nice. You now got you step it. back. Nice, Carter. Nice catch. 
Nice catch. Oh, look at that. Nice. Mo moss. So that's called, that's called, good try, bud. So that's called step back. Again, another activity uh, in the, ball, the sport ball pack. Um, the next one's called surprise catch. I suppose we could do the same thing. So line up like we did, close. Here you go, Carter. We'll use this one. For and now. you're going to turn around and face that way. Carter, you're going to turn around and face that way. And when I say Kira, you're going to turn around and I'm going to throw the ball to you. And I'm going to say, I'm going to throw it and then I'm going to say Carter and you got to turn around and catch it. Yeah, so we're going to throw it first and then say your name and then you got to turn around fast enough. Okay. Carter. Nice. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Kira. Nice. Now go further. Okay, take a step, a step take forward. A step. Carter. Kira. Oh. Nice. It's tough. Go further. Kira. Oh, nice. Almost got her in the chicklets. <laughs> Carter. Kira. Nice, buddy. Nice. Nice. One more step. Turn that way. Carter. Kira. Nice. Nice. Good, good job. job, guys. Good, good job. So that's called, <clears throat> what did I call that? Surprise catch. Surprise catch. So again, another activity in the sport ball pack. And then lastly, we're going to play crab soccer. So yeah, good job, honey. You know exactly what we're doing. So we're just going to use um, these two goals. So th this is one goal right there, and that's one goal right there. You want to be the goalie or you want to play? We'll play you, me you, and Carter you versus you two. Yeah. All right. So you got to get down in a crab walk. We can both kind of be goalies. Yeah, we don't need a set, a set goalie. All right. Go oh. get it. Oh. Go, go. Oh, <laughs> oh go. go. Good job, buddy. Nice good job. job. Oh, we're good. It's in the grass. OK, you want to go good grab job. that, buddy? Good job. Good job. So that's crab soccer. <clears throat> Obviously, more people, uh, if you're on a, on a grassy field, that's a little bit easier. So. Um, I think that's the few we wanted to highlight from the sport ball pack. And now let's do a few more shout outs. Yeah, we can get to some shout outs and see answer if anybody some answered questions. my questions. All right, let's see here. So Marsha said they are hoping for a softball season, um, even if it's a shorter one, and continue with walking and biking. Yeah, yeah. So that's a good, always a good one. I know we've done a lot of biking and walking in our family. Um, regarding social distancing, um, Mary recommends maybe we can do a session in the future on activities for social distancing when we go back to school in yeah, August. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Very, be... yeah, we're always looking for, for different ideas to, to do these live sessions on, so keep them coming. Um, that'd be a really good one. Um, Brian Cleary said, good stuff, guys. Love these videos. Good. So thank, thank you, you guys. All right, let's see. Anybody else have any questions? Um, no. Okay. That's it. So. All right, so I got another question we'll get into here before Adam gets into the scooter pack, which we'll unveil as well. Uh, unveil as well. Um, this next question is, with many sports coming back, which sport are, they, are you the most excited to watch? So with baseball, I know baseball just announced like last night that they're talking about 4th of July week yep, coming, back. So coming back. With all of them coming back, uh, what are you most excited to watch? Is it football? Is it baseball? Is it softball? Is it... Golf, you know, whatever golf, yeah, golf's a good one. I know golf. Uh, there's a live golf event this weekend, so I'm I saw to Mike that. Tyson might be making a comeback yeah. at, fif at 53. I would not want to take a he punch from him. He looks scary <laughs> yeah. at 53. Yeah. So, what are you excited to see? Um, so we'll do that, and then now we got some scooter stuff. Yeah. We're so get we'll into. we'll open up the deluxe pack of the Here scooter we go again. pack. Here's my. All right. So. And I'll, I can read them off, Adam. Yeah. What's in there? So go ahead. I have them here. Yeah. So, scooter pack. We have the um, two of the actual scooters. We have a red scooter, and we have the blue, blue scooter. scooter. You can see that they uh, nice handles so that the kids can keep, get their hands inside the actual board. They're not pinching them. Yep. Um, nice, nice wheels on them. They're not the old kind of plastic wheels that would buckle pretty right. easy. Yeah, these are great on all surfaces. Okay, indoor, outdoor, in your kitchen, on the hardwood floors in your kitchen. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't get the idea, Carter. Don't get any ideas, buddy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the deluxe pack comes with two, and I believe the basic pack comes with one scooter. Yeah, yep. And then the other item, 
are these foam, whoa, we're gonna use these anyways, so yeah. These two foam handles, okay? So you can do a lot of different things, scooter tennis, scooter, whatever you can think of with, with paddles. Yeah, yep. Okay, and then also mix them, mix them in with the, the other equipment packs that you receive too. Um, use them with the, the itty bitty ball that comes with it and play tennis or table tennis, whatever you guys can think of. So again, in the basic pack, it comes with one handle, one scooter. Deluxe pack comes with two handle or two paddles and two scooters. So I was gonna say handle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Long yeah, day. great, great uh, thought too, Adam. So it, when when parents have this description, <clears throat> they get to keep all the equipment. So each week they get a package, but you can still mix the stuff together. Yep. So um, very cool stuff. So we have a few activities yeah, for we'll, this as well. We'll get uh, we'll get to these quick too. So individual partner and team or family activities. Um, so the first one that we're gonna do. Um, we're going to bring the, we'll just go outside and we'll stay out there. We're going to put the scooters on the ground and we're going to see how many push-ups we can do. Oh yeah. And we'll just do 10 seconds. All right. Okay. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I got 24. What did you get? <laughs> I got 37. Oh. You always beat me in these strength <laughs> challenges. Okay, so that was one of the um, individual activities. The next thing we're gonna do, um, I have drawn a big A in, the, in chalk on Andy's driveway. Obviously Adam and Andy, A, we had to the A &A use show. that in there. Yeah. Um, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna go on our stomachs or on our chest, and we're just gonna paddle and trace the letter A. All right? Oh yeah, so smooth and fluent. Just like that, Andy, you're not you gonna do You want me to do it too? <laughs> I'm not gonna embarrass myself. Look at that, oh, Spider-Man, yeah. Spider-Man. Nice one. And Time. These, these are at Andy's house, so he does practice. Um, at night and on the weekends, so that that's why he's so good, yeah. All right, so that was uh, two of the individual ideas. I'm just gonna grab these, Joe. All right, so now it's a sleigh ride. Who wants to go for a ride? Carter, you wanna sit on? <clears throat> so typically, we would have cones set up. Right here, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pull Carter, he's gonna hold on to these. So he's gotta maintain his balance. Okay, yeah. so kick your legs up. Here. You're hold gonna on hold to on that. to this. Okay, kick your legs up. So we're just gonna go for a ride. And we're gonna try to move in and out. Whoa. Of the cones. There you go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> good save, good save. <laughs> so you gotta be careful here. All right, Carter. Next time we'll put on your helmet. <laughs> so oh, that was yeah. that was a partner activity for the sleigh ride. Oh, here. <clears throat> Thank you, buddy. Um, now we'll do go into the wheelbarrow push. So it's same same concept. Kira, you wanna do this one? Or does so, mom, mom wanna do it? <laughs> All right, Kira, come on. So out. Kira's gonna lay down on her stomach. And she's going to pick her feet up, and it's just going to be a wheelbarrow ride. <laughs> okay, and then try to make it some obstacles, going in and out of cones, going in and out of different obstacles. So that is the, wheel, the wheelbarrow push. Okay, now we'll get into the family activity. So this is kind of complicated, so all you guys want to come out here? I think we need Kenna too, right? <clears throat> yep, Kenna needs to join us. So one person is, is designated as the tagger. So we got these foam paddles. Who wants to be the tagger? You're gonna use that as the tagger. Sure. You're gonna tag Okay, Kenna's gonna be the that. tagger. Okay, we need one person to be the ambulance driver. I think Carter had his hand up first. Yeah, I think Carter did. Sorry, okay, Carter's honey, gonna time. be the ambulance driver. So when, so when Kenna tags one of us, we're just gonna freeze or we're gonna go down on a knee. Shh, let, let, him, let him explain. We're honey. gonna go down on a knee. And Carter, you're gonna bring a scooter and you're gonna pick us up 
and you're going to bring us to the hula hoop. So that's the hospital or the doctor's office. Okay? As soon as we get back to the hula hoop, then we can get back into the, into the tag game again. Okay? Everybody sense. got it? So, Kenny, you're not going to tag Carter because he's the ambulance driver. So you're going to try, you're gonna try tagging us. You're just going to try tagging us with the paddle. Okay? Here, go, here, go. Get away from her. <laughs> oh, tag. So, Carter, now go to him. Now I have to get on the scooter and you have to push me. I have to get on the scooter and you have to push me. I have to get on it, oh. You have to, I have to sit yep, on this. Carter, he has to sit, buddy. Now you have to push him Hey, back. push me, push me. All right. Okay, so, now I can get back in the game. Carter, I, Carter, I got tagged. You gotta come, come save me. Yep. All right. So I, so I think you guys get the idea. Um, so another fun family activity with Thank the you, scooters. Buddy. Thank so, you, Kenna. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Kenna. Carter, Kira, thank you. Yeah. Um, so that was the family activity that we wanted to, to touch base on. So again, there's a lot of individual activities for all these, and there's maybe four or five or six different uh, partner activities or family activities. Yep. So, Helen's ears. Sweating. <laughs> it's warm out there. It's a blustery 58 <laughs> degrees, but the Feels sun's good. out. Feels good. Um, so I think we are going to get into our, our last shout outs and then we'll do a little recap and then we'll be out of here. This was a long one. We got some tacos to eat afterwards. Yeah, we, we, we earned them. Worked up our appetite. We so. earned them. Um, okay, so uh, again with, with these home PE packs, um, just keep in mind that um, if you do purchase one, you get $10 back towards the school um, for you guys. So Teachers out there, really try to share as much as you can of, of this information. Tell them to go to the website, um, home-pe.com. Um, so it's right there on the bottom of the screen. Send it out to your parents. Send it out to your kids. Um, really try to encourage that because, again, if 10 people buy it, that's an extra 100 bucks that you guys have for, um, for your, your PE program. So yeah. we know um, budgets are kind of tight. So... Try to push it as much as possible. And while Adam's looking for the last few comments or shout outs here, uh, again, Thursday, 2 o'clock Central Standard Time, PE huddle number like six or seven, Jason Gemberling. Uh, that was pretty cool today to have him actually call, and I, I really enjoyed having a guest on the show. We might try doing more of that later, but Jason's a great guy. Good seeing you, Jason. Hopefully, again, you and the family are doing well. Um, thank you for tuning in, and good luck on Thursday with Dr. Pangrazy. 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. Again, go ahead, register for that on our uh, gophersport.com uh, backslash home learning. Yep, for, you got it. For that. Um, and to answer the last question, Marcia um, replied saying she's looking forward to Major League Baseball and college football. Good. Uh, me too. Uh, I'll take any sport at this point. Where's um, she from? Did they say where she's from? Yeah, Marsha's been tuning in. I, I forget where she's from, but uh, yeah. I she's, wonder who she's she, rooting for. <laughs> is she, is she a, a Wolverines fan? or? A, she's or, from Michigan. She's Mid from oh, the Mitten. Oh, she's the Mitten. So, so yeah, so it's either the Spartans or the Wolverines probably. Yeah. So. Oh, neither. <laughs> Central or Western. Yeah. But not, uh, um, and yeah, sorry about the Tigers too, Marsha. Um, yeah. Big Twins fans here, so. Yeah, well again, if you're looking for something <clears throat> to do tonight with your with the rest of your family and friends, again, go ahead, pop that popcorn, sit down with a nice, uh, comfy a blanket and watch us again. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying these. We're enjoying them. Yeah, my we're kids, a lot My of fun. kids are super excited every week to be doing this. Uh, hopefully you're finding some of these things fun uh, to do. We're trying to make it li uh, live and fun and, and crack some jokes, but yeah. also show you guys some cool, unique activities. So from the bottom of our hearts at Gopher, thank you for what you're doing. Um, getting through um, these last couple weeks for distance learning. Um, we appreciate you more than you guys know, and um, we hope for the best for the next school year. Yeah, well said. I, don't, I can't think of anything to add. You can, <laughs> took the words right out of my mouth. So, um, Again, thank you guys for tuning in. We, we uh, hope to see you guys next week, 2 o'clock Central Standard Time for episode number 8 of wow. Go For Live. So, Crazy. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Have a good week.